Oh, welcome, Wolf of Warfets. So we are back with the absolutely stunning Ghost of Tsushima on the PlayStation 4 Pro. And we are playing through this game on hard difficulty. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, what we're going to be doing today is we are at the Golden Temple at the moment, but we're going to be heading back down to the south and we are going to take over as a Bay. Now, if you remember, this is the place where me and Yuna went to with a guy called Kenji to rescue Yuna's brother, Tucker. But whilst we were there, we were sneaking around. We was only looking for Tucker and we was only rescuing him. Now that we've been there and we've seen that there is a ton of prisoners and stuff, we want to go back there and save everybody. So this time we can go back and cause a little bit of mayhem instead of sneaking around like little rats. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast travel back here just because I only fast traveled to the Golden Temple to do a bit of upgrading. I don't plan on fast traveling other than that. We're going to fast travel here and then we're going to take over that. And if we get this done in this video, then we're going to go and talk to Lady and Masako. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. But we need to try and get 750 supplies. I think we've currently got 200. So 550 supplies are needed so that we can um, upgrade our armor that Lady Masako gave us a couple of videos back. And uh, then it will be better than my current deluxe edition armor. But um, I need to, I need to play the flute first because it's looking a bit stormy. Ah, beautiful, beautiful Jin. You're a man of many talents, ain't you, friend? Right, let's have a look on the uh, map. It counts as a mission, this does. And you get four leather as a reward, so that's nice. Also, I was talking to somebody in this game, a random, like, citizen. And they told me that there is a, a longbow that you can get, which I'm going to assume is like the sniper rifle of this game. So, uh, we'll have to go and do that mission at some point as well. That's another weapon we're going to have to upgrade. Fucking hell. We're going to need so many supplies in this game to fully upgrade all of our gear. We're going to need so many supplies and bamboo and stuff like that but it would be good to get a longbow because you've probably seen the uh, range of this weapon can't actually be upgraded so it's more of a close quarters bow which is good because that's what i use it for but sometimes there are very far away archers and stuff that you just want to take down and you can't reach them so it would be good to get a longbow but we're not in a hurry for it so once we speak to somebody and they tell me where it is we'll go and do that mission there are so many cool missions in this game even the side missions are great very, very Witcher-esque. If you played The Witcher, you'll know that even the side missions in that game were amazing. And it's the same in this one, to be honest. They've done a brilliant job. There are too many guards. We won't stand a chance. We have to do something. Oh, there they are. My lord. <laughs> We're going into Azimo Bay. Help us fight. Of course I will, boys. You'll endanger everyone inside if you start a fight. The Mongols are starving and beating our elders. Punishing them for a prisoner who escaped. Your elders had nothing to do with that. Where are they being held? One's near the shrine. We think the other two are in the houses. How are you planning to get in? The gates are sealed shut. There's an opening in the fence by the main gate. We used it as children to sneak out. I'll use it to sneak in. Stay out of sight until I've opened all the gates. Thank you, my lord. Hmm. I like it that he says stay out of sight until I open the gates. Well, when I open the gates, they continue to stay out of sight. Because they don't come in and help me. <laughs> And if they do, I never saw them when I was playing this myself. Um, when I did this mission, it was a very horrible, rainy, stormy day. And I couldn't play the flute. Because when you're in the camps, you can't play the flute. So I couldn't even make it uh, at least a clear sky. But it's a beautiful blue sky day. And it's also daytime. So this should be a lot easier. So I'll be able to see what I'm actually doing. But we've got to open up the gates. We've got to rescue a bunch of civilians. Uh, both in buildings and stuff. And also in cages. 
and we also need to uh, take down multiple leaders in this place. So once we're done with this place, I think we'll probably unlock the, um, I think it's the wind stance that's better for taking down like spear enemies and also axe enemies as well. But I don't, I don't think we've seen any axe enemies, but I might be wrong. Sorry if me using the bow all the time annoys you, but we've all got our favourite weapon, and I know I'm a samurai and I should be cutting them up with my katana, but <laughs> I can't. I like using the bow. Free the village elders, which is, they're normally inside these buildings. Oh, another thing you have to be careful of, because there's civilians to rescue, if um, if they spot you, they'll try and kill the civilians, and if they kill them, then it counts as a foul one, and you have to restart. So, uh, it's best to not be seen in this bit, and if you do get seen, make sure you chase the guy with a skull and crossbones above him, because he's about to kill a hostage, and you definitely don't want that. Sorry if you can hear my dog barking, not quite sure what she's barking at. I don't think anybody knocked, so... Uh, She's probably looking out the window like she always does. She literally, I've said it so many times, she sits on the bloody window and barks at dogs that are walking past. Is that a leader? <laughs> right, what we're going to do is we're going to kill this guy over here. Oops. Actually. <laughs> Well, that's one leader dead. Uh, did we just assassinate them? Oh shit, hang on, what's this? Oh crap. Hey! <laughs> oh shit, quick. Alright, stop killing everyone like that, Ezio. Hell, mate. Oh, shit. Hey, look at that. There we go. Jesus Christ, that was a nightmare. I had to completely throw myself into that fight. I couldn't even plan for it because uh, they were going to kill this hostage. And once they kill the hostage, it's mission fouled. No, it's not Enemies okay. nearby. Where? Well, that's not really nearby, is he? Alright, I'll go shoot him in the face. And when I say face, I meant the back of the head. Oh, now you want to be freed, alright. Bloody hell. Hold still. Are you hurt? I'm fine. They wanted me to heal their sick. And you refused. Stay here until I've dealt with the rest. Please, free our blacksmith, Izumi. The Mongols are holding him in one of the houses. Alright, I already know that there is one down here somewhere that's inside. I think it might be there. Yep, there we go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Just by looking over there, it told me. Uh, the, thing, the thing that's annoying about this place is it's so bloody big, you feel like you've got to search every single building for supplies. And most of the buildings do have stuff in them, so... It's, a, oh, it's annoying, ain't it? 
because if you don't search every building, you start feeling a little bit OCD, don't you? I don't, even if you don't suffer with OCD, I feel like you, you, you just get it from playing video games sometimes. Here, you. Oh, you little shit. That was horrible, I apologise. That was very horrible. Did not do very well then. Oh no, not again. Leave me alone, you f oh, fuck it. Oh god. Oh, oh alright, I killed the hostage before they cut my head off. <laughs> alright then. What do you mean hostages were killed? It was only one. Bloody exaggerating. Alright, is everybody back to life? No, I've still got the same amount of progress. Oh shit, I think this is the same building, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same building. Whoops. No, you fucking don't. Kill them first. All right, who wants a tango? Come on, who wants a tango? Ah, there you are. Little devil. Yeah, look at you sneaking around like Smeagol. Kill them first. Shut up, mate. I won't rescue you if you carry on telling me what to do. I'm the fucking Lord. I came back here to rescue you all. You should be grateful. Didn't have to do it. Please, get me out of here. <laughs> oh, now you want to be saved as always. You're going to be all right. You're safe now. I was sure they were going to kill me. They already killed one blacksmith. No, he escaped. You will too. But stay here until it's safe. I hope we don't save that dude that pretty much sold out Tucker by saying that he was a rubbish blacksmith and he was a better blacksmith so they were going to kill Tucker because they only needed one blacksmith. I hope we don't rescue that guy. Hopefully we get to shoot him. I think the cages are... Oh, that might be it. Yep. I just heard my flipping sister laughing like an absolute psychopath. She distracted me and made me assassinate. God, I don't know if you heard that, but she's laughing like a psychopath in the background. Fucking hell. So it must have been very funny. Oh, sticky bombs. Oh shit. Another gate to open up. I'm gonna have to fi find some more arrows soon. Try not to get spotted as well because there is another hostage up there. Oh, I'm already out of arrows. Again, I'm a lot of supplies in here. We're definitely not gonna get enough to. Um, we're definitely not going to get enough to upgrade our armor twice, but definitely once. Uh, 
Can I jump up here? Yes. Accept Mongol's rule. If Nice little bit of parrying then. Oh, nice little bit of parrying then as well, wasn't it? Ah, oh, shit. Now, don't take it out on him because I parried you. Shit, so much stuff in this place. Crazy. What's that? Oh, that's those little... Yeah, that's those little daggers. Hang on a minute, mate. I'll, I'll save you in a second. Don't worry, I'm not going to leave. I don't actually have a choice. If I don't rescue you, I can't take over this place. Oh, look at this. I feel good, mate. Alright, coming on you. Up you get. You'll be free soon. Are you the headman? I am. The Mongols threatened to kill my people unless I accepted their rule. I was about to give in. You were strong to resist. Remain hidden until it's safe to come out. The Mongol warlord has taken over my home. Please, drive him out and free us all. Yeah, I will. I will. Don't start giving me orders. I already know what to do. Why do you think I'm here? I didn't come here just to do a little half-assed job. I came here to kill everybody and save you all. Oh, there's another leader up there. What did I actually do where I just, like, wiped them all out? I was... I think I, uh... I threw one of these bad boys, didn't I? But then you assassinate them when they're on the floor, so it's a bit shitty. I can't resist doing it. It just is so much easier, isn't it? I don't think I've got any arrows left, so I need to. Uh... Oh, it's so easy to parry when it's just me versus one. That's when I play the best, when it's a fair fight. Just like real life, isn't it? If you get like 20 people with different weapons jump you, you're going to perform badly. But you get a one-on-one, -on -one, that's when you're going to excel at whatever you do best. Yeah, I, I think my uncle is going to be very, very angry with me. <laughs> Fucking hell, that dog's barking again. Gotta laugh, otherwise I'll get annoyed. There we go. Oh, actually... Ah, oh, shit. Once we're done with this place, we have to fight like one of those proper leaders like we did at the dojo. Ah, oh, I forgot about that. Ah, oh, he's gonna kick my ass. He's got a shield, though, so we can use the water stance against him. I think as long as you use that water stance and you parry a lot, you can deal with him all right, I guess. But, yeah, obviously I'm playing on YouTube now, and that's where I always make mistakes. How many supplies have we got in this place? Three hundred and thirty-five. We found about one hundred and ten supplies so far. Okay, one more cage and another leader. Why the hell did it have to start raining? It's going to get all flipping rainy. We've already been up there, haven't we? Yeah, that's why we rescued the first one. It's got to be over here. Then you've got... Oh, oh, here we go. Hey, how are you doing, everyone? Let me know if you see the leader. Have we been around this bit? Is this... Oh, look. Some delicious supplies. I just feel like the supplies is probably like rice or something, isn't it? Or f just food in general, I reckon. It's a very weird form of currency, ain't it? But they probably all live life as traders, so there probably isn't really a proper currency. They probably live life by trading, you know? Like, you want to you wanna get some new furniture, you know, you want to get a new chair from a carpenter, and you're a farmer, you can trade him, like, I don't know, ten bags of flour, that kind of stuff. 
I think that's the best way of living life. I would like it if that was how the real world was. But then how would you sort of work out the value of a PlayStation 5? If I wanted a PS5, what would I have to trade to Sony if there was no such thing as money? I feel like, like probably like 30 cows or something. I got three arrows, beautiful. One sticky bomb. I think I just saw. Nope, there ain't no supplies. It's a flipping lamp. Oh, what was that? Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a bit of a weird standoff. Oh, that nearly worked. That nearly fucking worked. I guess if you've been uh, hidden for a while, then you can go back to... Uh... All right, Jackie Chan, relax. Yeah, look, wind stance is unlocked. We're going to get a little like tutorial now, though, that I don't really need, but. <sighs> Lovely. Wind stance is highly effective against spears and axes. Have we had a fight of anyone with an axe? I don't think we have. I know they've got their halberds or whatever they're called. Assholes. Well, that's it now. Yep, now we've got to fight the main leader. Okay, we're not doing too bad with the health. Full health, yeah. One circle. If we parry a lot, we'll get more circles. Then we get in them on the right stance. Yep, water stance. Okay. Right, as long as you parry a lot with this guy and you stay in the water stance to do extra damage uh, to his block or stamina, whatever you want to call it, you should deal with him pretty quickly. But if he hits you on this difficulty, you will die. Samurai, you tortured and abused my people. Accept Mongol rule. And your people will not suffer. You are a liar and a coward. You deserve nothing less than death. I will take nothing less than your head. Nice. There we go, there we go. I'm not going to speak too much on this bit. Let me just get myself killed. I was a bit, yeah, I was a bit unprepared for that. I thought the cutscene was going to be a bit longer than that. <laughs> okay, right. I hate when they do that. Man, I fucking hate those kicks. Okay, right, here we go. The rest of this video is gonna be torture now. Nah? I keep I keep trying to parry his shield. Alright, start again. Fucking start. Alright, oh, I'm already dead anyway. Fuck me, mate. Relax. Right, we need circle on the red dots and then parry the rest of the time. Make it to 
Fucking chits, mate. I'm not doing very well now. I really, really need to press circle on the shield attack. Yeah, I've got to press circle on that shield attack. I keep trying to fucking parry his shield like an absolute melon. God damn. Get your head in the fucking game, B-Wolf. think I am. I don't give up. Oh, he's kicking me now. There we go. Fuck it. Oh, it's a perfect one for once. Fucking hell, that was close. God damn. Shit. That was very close. Man, I just, for some reason I just... I, I wasn't dodging. I kept on trying to parry his bloody shield like a prat. Sorry about that. It took a lot longer than it should have. That was like seven minutes of bollocks, that was. Sorry. <laughs>
Lovely jubbly. Oh, oh, I've got myself another defense charm. Charm of vitality. That's going to give me more health than ain't it? Probably. That's what vitality normally is, isn't it? All right. Well, thanks for watching, Wolf Warbets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, next time, I guess we can go and speak to Lady Masako. Or we can go and speak to Yuna again and get our weapon off of her brother. Don't know. I'll decide in the next video. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Like, share, and join the pack today.